Hi, this is Gary Shoup of the Montgomery County Engineer's Office in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, what I'm showing you here is installation of a traffic signal loop detector at the intersection of Nemar Road and North Dixie Drive in uh, Harrison Township. Uh, the contractor is using a rock hammer right now to go about uh, installing the hull for the curb pipe. As you can see, there's a PVC pull box. Uh, the contractor finished putting the hull in for the curb pipe and uh, is now going about installing laterally uh, the curb pipe. They just put a bullet on the end of the curb pipe to facilitate its installation. I'm not a big fan of these PVC pull boxes. Uh, we haven't had the greatest luck with them. With the utility vehicles leaving the roadway, uh, trucks leaving the roadway, or tractors in the rural areas, uh, they, they aren't able to support the loading of those vehicles, even though they're rated that high. Uh, there's a sledgehammer. They're going to hit away on the pipe to install it. Um, right now, the I'll let the contractor explain to you what he's doing uh, with the butane torch on the side of the, the PVC pull box. Is that a butane torch down there? You just do that to make the plastic soft, or? Yeah, and it just lets the bullet just go right through it. Yep. Then it heats up, pulls right back around. Uh, the current tractor for this job is uh, Capital Electric. Uh, they maintain the traffic signals uh, for the County Engineer's Office. 2009 did a great job. Uh, the wires you see in the pull box there are all loop detector leading wires. Uh, uh, having some difficulty here with the video. Uh, limitations of my Mac Mini with 4 gigabit RAM. RAM. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, right now the contractor is going about it, uh, using a hacksaw to cut away on the curb pipe. And now that the curb pipe's been installed, they're using the blower from the rock hammer to uh, go about cleaning the area of all debris. Well, what'll be coming up here is uh, Installation of uh, the corners with the rock hammer. They're uh, hammering out uh, the corner so you're not going to get a tight 90 degree turn when the loop wire is installed. Here's a close up of it. Uh, the size of the loops being installed is approximately 6 feet by 20 feet. Um, uh, here's a saw cutting of a loop. It's actually not the same loop. Uh, I had to get back to the office and I wasn't able to do that. I had to splice in another loop that was being cut. Uh, they're going back cleaning out uh, the saw cut right now. Removing all the debris from the saw cut so it's not going to interfere with the wire in any way. Uh, now the contractor is blowing um, the wet areas dry. Uh, it's actually uh, sort of a time consuming task. 
in this location I've only been videotaping the installation of one loop for the most part but there's two loops being installed at the same time with uh, mains of traffic being provided uh, and then back to the use of an arrow board on the back of a truck and with cones Uh, now the contractor's getting the equipment ready to uh, install the, the loop sealant. Okay. Uh, the re reason these loop detectors are being installed is because uh, of a water main project that went through there this uh, this fall. And, uh, Cut straight through the loops with the services. Uh, you can see the contractor here uh, reeling off the the loop wire off the back of their truck and uh, putting it within the saw cut here. Uh, these signals run min recall for each approach. If anyone's wondering about uh, aspect of missing uh, motorcycles within the loops, uh, this intersection's got some Reno detector amplifiers, for which uh, we do have a, a pretty high sensitivity and haven't had difficulty detecting uh, motorcycles in the past. Now you'll see one of the men on the job with a wheel pushing the wire into the saw cut. And that's it for part one. Uh, continue with part two.